See? It's smart. Whoa! See, I told you, and now I'm picking it up. Now somebody else is picking it up. And then it just keeps repeating. So you know what's going on, but you keep doing it. Content related to the SCP Foundation, including the everything. Yep, we don't need to read any of this. There's flickering lights and flashing lights. They're going to be throwing flashbangs. Okay, I guess. Not really sure what's going on yet. business with this one a few months ago i was preparing my dissertation in a restaurant on l street the pies there were rather to my liking that was too quick after seeing that there were only eight for the tables in the restaurant i said to this man all right y'all this this game it's an SCP game. Never played one before, never in my life. But I've seen other people play some, some like an SCP game. If that, if that counts for anything, I'm just hoping it's scary. Really, just trying to get freaked out a little bit, you know. But if you want to keep seeing content like this, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload next. And let's get straight to the gameplay. Well, I guess we're here already, so I don't need to say that. It's a little awkward. Um, excuse me, I don't believe I know you. Is there something I can help you with? Look, this seat's occupied. Fine, okay, I don't want to be rude because I don't know what he's capable of. Without answering my question, this man continued talking to himself. Well, look, so here you are, you're graduating soon, and clearly you need a job, huh? Well, it just so happens that we have just a job for you. The man paused to add emphasis. A mysterious mystery. Oh, a mysterious, mysterious job. A wonderful, wonderful one. Thank you, but I have no interest in your proposal. Mysterious and wonderful, huh? I need more information, though. Like, I, I can't just go off mystery and wonderful. Not interested. Do not refuse my offer in haste. He then handed me a business card. Both sides on the business card were black with three letters printed neatly on one side. SCP. Uh oh. Click to open the envelope. Carl. Okay, so my name is Carl Astana. This is where I live, or this is the address for that place. Carl. Congratulations on joining, uh, on becoming a member of the SCP Foundation. The Foundation highly values your knowledge and expertise, and we firmly believe that you and one. Oh, you are the one we have been searching for. You will assume the position of assistant archivist in the archive department. Group three director Chuck Error will be your supervisor or superior, whichever one you would like. Please go to the security office of sector, whatever that is on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Got you. Easy. Without a doubt. Okay, we here. Since the beginning of civilization, the world has been full of unknown things. Due to their existence, the balance of like lungs. peaceful life has been upset. However, no matter how advanced our technology, no matter how great our scientific breakthroughs, there will always be anomalies that cannot be explained. We don't know what Swamp monsters. or what their purpose is. These questions plague mankind and affect our daily lives. It's because of this that we founded the S What is that? Foundation. In order it's got that crack twitch. to containing anomalous items, individuals, and phenomena. The SCP Foundation is committed 
to maintaining the normalcy of the world so that people may live free of fear. Why is everything so gigantic? In the sunlight, we must fight anomalies in the shadows. We must prevent them from being exposed that was a whole to the public so that people may live in a rational and ordinary world. We secure, we contain, we protect. Oh my gosh. Is this... I thought this was gonna be like a short little game, but hold on. This might be something for real. I'm pretty sure it's called like SC, SCP missing secret files. I can't move my neck at all. I'm stiff as a brick. we in there hold on let's look at everything make sure we're doing good on everything it was a little high let's go down just a little smidgy bitchy big booty i want to see some boot i'm excited i'm excited to get scared mission statement i'm not reading all that all right What is in here? We can't see just yet, but that that's that's all right. That's all right. Please swipe. I don't. How loud is that? That's too loud. That's too loud, y'all. This is gonna be something. Enter room nine fourteen. Yeah. Let's get there before I catch some arthritis. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's cold in the room, but my hands is getting there. I feel like I'm stepping on vibranium. Am I in uh Wakanda? Wakanda uh bunker? Oh. Got you. Where Black Panther at? I know he ain't reading no books. <laughs> Initiating the system. Carl Astana, 525 1989. That's Massachusetts. Okay. You will have access to classified and top secret archives. Please confirm that you are aware of all confidential clauses and agree to swear by and strictly adhere to all scp foundation regulations and guidelines okay this i mean <clears throat> they're trying to get me <clears throat> i guess if i die in real life they uh they got they got the thing on me each day your super your superior or assigned task to the mission module when there is a new task the button will blink red to remind you communications Please pay attention to blinking red. Okay. Training is affecting means information. Got you. This page shows. Da, 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 da. That concludes the introduction. We wish you success. All oh, these are the homies. Hold on. Let me read this real. How the mission. Oh. 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 I oh. Uh, okay. Let's let's No, don't send it yet. I want to read. How'd the mission go? Eh, get? Did the information gathering go smoothly? Was damn close this time. Luckily I know how to swim. Okay. Glad Chuck didn't send me there. You get it, she black. She can't swim. I can't stand the feeling of being drenched in water. Yeah, okay. Ugh. I think I caught a cold too. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Guess what? Our group's got a new member today. Carl, how about introducing yourself first? I like these kind of games that give you the option to pick what you want to say. Um, that's just too much energy. No. Morning, everyone. 
My name's Carl Anderson. You can call me Carl. I graduated from MIT with a double. Ma okay, now you bragging. Now you doing too much. Welcome. Okay. He oh he got glasses on. That's why he did that. MIT. Oh, that's pretty awesome. See, he gets it. Is it just me or do I see? I knew it. I'm not gonna say that though. No, 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 no. It's not like that. Not targeting you specifically, Plow. It's all these prestigious graduates. Enough, gent. The foundation specifically sees out pre uh, pre <laughs> Golly. And then the foundation throws all of them into the archive department. Carl, don't listen to the nonsense coming out of his mouth. Well, it's not really coming out of his mouth. It's coming from his fingers. Have you all confidential, um, com conveniently? Okay. I can't speak today. Forgot about Jonathan. Who's Jonathan? Jonathan graduated from Harvard or Stanford or whatever. They type in too quick, man. This is not real. Y'all crazy with the finger action, yo. Calm down. Like, they already got, like, pre- replies in there let me read it please jeez okay anyways the specifics don't matter you're all pretty much the same <clears throat> you guys watch rick and morty last night bro like get on topic man get out of here you prestigious graduates are so full of it you think you can just beam through everywhere with your glowing academic qualifications you got it coming the tragedy he went through was inevitable. <sighs> I'm going to have to fight this dude. We're going to have to knuckle it up. Jonathan lost his left hand because he breached protocol and touched SCP. He was given... Oh my gosh, this is annoying. Bro, let me read. Just keep going. I don't care. Yep, just keep talking. Just keep talking. You could put it all in one paragraph, but you want to keep sending it. So now I don't even know what's going on. Yep, still don't know what's going on. Okay. Hopefully y'all reading it because I'm not. I don't care anymore. We just know that Chuck is in the building, which I think he's like our manager. We're done today. Please do me a favor. Unlike those people in the logistic department spending their time gossiping. Ba ba ba. Some places don't need notifications. Got it. Can I click on these and look at them? Take some of the finished project. All right. Don't push the blah, blah, blah. Got it. Stewart. Can I just like get out of here? Got it, boss. Must be handed in by the end of the day. I'm not going up and reading all that shit. You can eat my ass. What's my job? Yeah, what is my job? Director Oyer. Oyer. We need review organizing, but no need you to hurry, young man. You need to attend a new employee on our training first before going. Mm, the system will send you a meeting notice. I'll keep an eye on it. Hey, Director Oyer. Oyer. I'm honored to be given the chance to work at the archives department. Young man, this place is not what you think. You must abandon your past self and start again from zero if you hope to learn to survive. No one will take care of you. You must demonstrate your own ability. Understood. Director Oyer. I think I'm made for the job. New employee, blah, 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 blah. You will suffer, Carl. I suggest you prepare a paper bag for the vomiting to come like you. He's just messing with you. Yeah, guys, have no idea what you're doing, do you? Now move it. Remember, Carl. Stay sane and always in awe. <sighs> Let's go to training. First class, Raymond Ham. This is kind of act. I feel like I'm really working at this place. I don't want to be, but we doing it. All right. Can I look at? No. Nope. All right. Let's just get up into it. Accessing account authority. 
Done, done. Encrypt the channel. Training is about to begin in three seconds. Two, one, you're dead. Is this really going to be scary though? Like, I don't know. Ooh, I'm excited though. Is that Jason a team ball? Carter is a death row inmate. In exchange for clemency, he has agreed to work with the SCP Foundation for 30 days. Upon completion of his work, he will be a free man. Got you. Jason Carter is now D-503. Oh my gosh. I don't know what that means. But it must mean something crazy. Day one. So this is me in the in the booth. Uh oh. Uh oh. I see. So this is training. I see. Let's get up in the suit real quick. Uh-huh. Look at your fingers. You don't need to. But it's always good to know that you got all ten fingers. <laughs> Is that a duck? Should I be worried? I'm not nervous yet. I'm just like confused. Oh my. D-503 was given no clear instruction of the task to be completed. He must find them out for himself. So they get you gave me no information. I just gotta. Okay. You know what? So go to the red dots. That's all, right? Right here. What's this? Is this a? It's a gasoline. Gasoline. Damaged uh, petrol tank. Plastic. Got you, got you. What is this? Discarded roadblock. So really, they just got me out here just driving in the... In and the sand. Okay. I want to make sure nothing is like here to hurt me. Because that would be creepy if I just see something in the distance trying to hurt me. Trying to run at me. A rusted iron pipe. Oh, that's the crib. Not the crib, but the facility, you know? Even a little annoying, just a little bit. Damage to tin drum. Okay. I don't like being outside of my vehicle. It just feels weird. I don't know. I played a lot of games, so I'm just always on my heels. You know. You never know what can happen. It's just so loud for discarded tires. All right, let's get back to the grip. That's all you wanted me to do, coach? Whoa! About to turn into a transformer. Okay. Hold down the lever to. Oh, I'm outside. Oh, no. OK. 
Okay, so we're incinerating it. I mean, all of it seemed to be damaged, though, so... <laughs> this was D-503's first day of work. So I'm D-503. SCP oh. protocol mandates that D-503 now undergo a psychological evaluation. Are we going to be on our computers? Please take the level two mental test. Got you. Just going slow because oh okay it's day 29 he said i was i was gonna be here for 30 days right well a sandwich my love is this a test or y'all really just assholes and i ate it still i munched on it so, okay so that's a whole work day sleep this was the first day D-503 psychological data was collected. Y'all said this was training? This seems like probably a... probably wondering, how can this job earn freedom for a death row inmate? Oh. Dr. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham from Site 83. Welcome to today's training conference. Today, I'm going to share with you a little project I've been working on called SCP-7457. The desert you saw just now is SCP-7457. D-503 is a volunteer who we invited to help us learn more about this desert. So it's not even about him. Prior to the Foundation's involvement with SCP-7457, 329 people went missing in this area. As a precaution, we have introduced lockdown measures as we attempt to find the cause of these disappearances. Mm. As everyone here is new to the Foundation, it will be good for you to learn about SCP-7457. Let me explain how it works. Before we get started, are there any questions? Dr. Ham, I'm Will Barton. Third Special Squad, Site 86. Hello, Will. Before I came here, I thought I had a basic understanding of the Foundation. I've heard of these anomalies, but only in terms of human anomalies. I had no idea that SCP-7457 was a desert. How do we begin to make sense of this? That's a good question, Will. All the unexplained phenomena we are monitoring are being labeled anomalies. Human anomalies regional anomalies, artifact anomalies, and various other phenomena beyond our control. The work of the Foundation is to isolate these anomalies and prevent the public from, shall we say, experiencing them? Okay, next question. Hello, Dr. Ham. Is everybody I'm gonna Mark talk? Harris, Can we get on with the lesson? From Site 27. In the video, we saw D-503 picking up garbage in the desert. Why did it do that? And what does this have to do with anomalies? Okay, Mark. What I can tell you now is that everything you see is part of SCP-7457. Everything I see. SCP anomalies can be a little difficult to understand at first. Just know that it, or they, have their own rules. Perhaps you'll understand what I mean once we finish watching the video. Yeah, so like okay. everybody stop talking Let's so we can on. get into it. Thank you. Don't want to have to be a dick, but... It. The first week was fairly normal. However, there was an interesting occurrence on the eighth day. On the eighth day? Oh my god, of course you guys got me playing this. I'm gonna see something running at me. Let's get ready. No, no need to check the gloves. We gone. Come on. Mm. 
Let's have a look at what happened. Am I about to get... Oh, it's dark. I'm not very confident. Nope. Nope. Also, this looked like Borderlands. All right. So yeah, okay. I was trying to see if there was like physics, if it was just gonna roll down on its own, but that was not the case. I'm so I'm kind of I'm like really nervous they say something happens today and there's only three things so I'm a little nervous and we're dead hey we survived y'all see that maybe that's what it was these cool ass tricks I be doing. The sand is moving though, you see that? Broken air conditioning. That's a Okay, I thought It is an alien. Get up, you gotta get it. You gotta do your job, bro. He was hugging it tight. Black spindle. So I just looked at it, watched it crawl away, and then just went right back to work. Guess there's nothing else to do, huh? Okay, I'm not, I'm not up for no flips. Come on, I'm not up for no flips right now. Let's get inside. Thank you. Thank you. D503 had completed his task. But he's seen the fuzzies. He did not realize that he had already encountered his first anomaly. You hear it too. So it's in the sand. It's burrowing in the sand and it's grabbing tracks. Interesting. Another mental test, huh? It's like with a triangle. Oh, there's a triangle in there, a triangle in there, and a triangle in there. Oh, I didn't get one right. But look, there's a triangle. There's a triangle right here. Huh. What other one has a triangle? Pictures with it. I don't. I don't see any other triangles, boss. Oh, maybe. Just press. Okay, got you. Select three pictures that calculate results are equal to five. Five. Five, ten, fifteen. That's that would be three still, right? Yeah. Error, 5 plus 0 is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I was... Huh, okay. 22. It's been well, 22 days left. I didn't even... They didn't let me eat. That's really gonna drive me crazy. What is this? Night, night. That night, D-503's psychological data showed abnormal fluctuations. Analysis tells us that D-503 is dreaming. About what? The ocean? Unfortunately, though, 
We have no way of knowing what he dreamed of. Is that a phone booth? Can't be no damn, uh, it can't be like a restaurant because that's, it's like this big. Analysis. The EMA marked a significant turning point. The start of SCP-7457's impact on D-503. Are there any questions before we go on? Every, we're gonna get like Hello, two, three Dr. people. Ham? I'm Spencer Jones from the Special Operations Department of Site 21. Hello, Spencer. It's still unclear That's a man's as to why name. 503 needs to pick up all of this trash. If you wanted to monitor his psychological response to SCP-7457, why not just leave him out in the desert? Why assign him these tasks when there are already psychological evaluations taking place? <laughs> okay. Our analysis has indicated that SCP-7457 produces a new cluster of trash every eight minutes and 37 seconds. If waste collection is not done regularly, all that trash may soon flow into our world. Oh, what the heck? It is worth noting, though, that the quantity of waste created here pales in comparison to the amount produced by humans. However, it still has the potential to become a significant problem in the future. By assigning these tasks to D-503, we can monitor his reactions while also containing the trash. There is another reason, but we will get to that one later. Is it not the case that the Foundation is exaggerating the importance of a minor issue before the issue is fully understood? <sighs> okay, everyone. I must emphasize that behind us is the general public, who are wholly unaware of any of this. Being meticulous and maintaining a serious attitude is essential at the SCP Foundation. Any oversight or underestimation of the enemy may result in disaster. Thank you, Dr. Ham. I understand. Hey, you better. Good. Let's move on. The effects of SCP-7457 on D-503 became most obvious on day 15 of the test. All right. Due to the conditions that day, we were only able to track his movements after recovering data from his radar. It was definitely a bad day. Perhaps the oh, worst. Oh snap, I'm about to get grabbed and snatched. Inmate. Oh no, even worse. Because in Death Row Inmate, they be shanking dudes, huh? They be shanking. Booty clap. They be just, you know, I don't know, they be going. But how would I know? That might not really be happening. It might be like up in there just, you know, chilling, having fun. D503 found a radar that perfectly resembled his Oh own. no. It's gonna start duplicating people. However, D503 didn't seem to think much of it. Yeah, even I did. I'm about to see myself running around here. This truck got like hydraulics. Whoa, 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 whoa. They like grabbing onto this coil stuff. Black spindle. Why is it always black? Teeter totter, teeter totter. We ain't slowing down for nut. Persistent adverse physiological reactions proved to be a challenge for D503. 
Bears. He'll manage to complete his work on day 15. Yeah, they don't like that. They don't like that I keep burning they, they spindles. They black spindles. But then, he encountered an incident. A sandstorm. Oh, snap. Get inside, brother. It's getting in your eyeballs. D-503 walked in the sandstorm for a long time. But he couldn't seem to find his way back. Oh, this is me. They gave me no warning. Oh, these are all the routes that I've been taking. So should I not follow them then? Or just go to the red blinking light? Help! Mayday! Mayday! No, that's, that couldn't be me. He's like... Y'all ever... I don't know what the name is, but that one movie with the worms the sandworms and they got big mouths and they're in the sand and you you can't step on the sand or they'll scoop you up and eat you <laughs> scared me a little bit managed to find a site site just as he was beginning to grow weak with exhaustion a site he was not how about say <laughs> uh no way so this desert just made a new site and baited me into going in here and that is me i told you i would see myself the real question is what is it going to do to me Actually, I don't know what's going on, what he's done in his past life. He is a death row inmate, so he's probably done a lot of lying. Maybe some stabbing, some shootings. God, he's, he's hollow, he's open. Kind of reminds me of control the game. Have you ever experienced a call from an unknown voice? No, because if I <gasps> oh, because if I see a number I don't know, I don't pick it up. Because I know it's just scammers, bro. And if you pick up the phone, thirteen hours later, a visibly trembling D five zero three returned to site 8. We immediately performed a psychological evaluation. What's about to happen? Oh. Major fluctuations can now be observed in D503's physiological data. Interesting. He's got a thing with looking at his hands a lot. The results of the psychological evaluation were so troubling, we had to abort the mission. Okay. Well, now you're stuck in here, brother. D-503 was able to break away from the Foundation's control. What? Is that easy? He has seen the test results of other level D personnel. That's right. None of the level D personnel at SCP-7457 have ever been able to leave this. Shit, I'm about to. Watch me. What is that? Beep. Oh, I'm dead, bro. I'm about to do a whole 
clip. I told you, bro, we doing a whole hot dog. Now where am I? I'm in a city? Whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold up. Heard the call. I hear none. Humans often believe that their fate is in their own hands. That all choices come from their own free will. They don't realize that we humans form only a small part of this world. I don't know why I thought something was following me. Out there, in the unknown world, we are as insignificant as a grain of sand in this vast desert. Still gotta check your corners though. Oh, this thing, I keep seeing it. Oh, now there's an octopus down there. That's a very long octopus, man. This really reminds me of control now, because everything just be floating. So just get ringed up like that, huh? This is where D503's instincts led him. I have a theory. Those little black splindles, spindles are all the inmates that they previously put in there. See? Smart. Whoa! See, I told you, and now I'm picking it up. Now somebody else is picking it up. Interesting. Interesting. I need to take a swig because that was very interesting. Hmm. Hmm. And then it just keeps repeating. So you know what's going on, but you keep doing it. Participant D722 told the radar that it belonged to D503. The radar was 31 miles away from the waste treatment facility. All the data we have came from this radar. People entering SCP-7457 will suffer varying degrees of psychological stress within an acute period. It manifests as a range of neurological and mental disorders, as well as severe and unexplained hallucinations. So far, not one participant has left the desert unscathed. Has anybody left? The Foundation has tested 30 General? level D personnel in an area spanning 2,267 square miles. Our testing continues. When you work for the Foundation, you will face various anomalies. Some can kill you. Some may drive you crazy. And some will make you feel that living is worse than death. Damn. Let this be very clear. SCP-7457 is just a taste of what you will face in the future. Ooh, I like Before that. joining the Foundation, you were all leaders in your respective fields and industries. Researchers, special forces, FBI agents, <laughs> national security experts. Well, SCP does not care how smart you are, how accomplished you are. It doesn't matter to them how many doctorates and titles you have. Okay, so now he's no talking to me. From helpless ants when confronted with these anomalies. Remember this. It is the most important advice you will receive. Do hey. not take risks. 
you will die. Hey, you didn't have to send me out, as special though. as you think you are. Oh. If you encounter an anomaly, put your pride and curiosity aside. Run. So you can't fight because an anomaly? That's the only thing you can do. Okay, so you just sent some mad question. Check you here. <laughs> Welcome to the Foundation, rookies. Yeah! Welcome to Raymond Ham, and this ends the first class of our employee induction program. Interesting. Interesting. So what do you guys think? Disconnected in zero seconds. Training courses end. Please add your comments here. The course was arranged appropriately. Appropriately. Um, it was cool. It gave like it was very it was ominous. Gave me a lot of uh intel and 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 expectations on what to see in the future, just like he said. So I'm gonna give that five stars. The lecturer was qualified. I mean, just because he singled me out, I'm gonna give him four stars. You know, that was no that was not that was not needed. Uh the connection was smooth. Yeah, it was real. Well, no, actually you did see how it's getting like staticky and whatnot. I'm gonna give that three stars. You need to clean that up, y'all. Notice of meeting was punctual. Sure, whatever. I don't really feel anything. God, I only saw. I mean, if I was in the shoes of Carl, I did only see. I only saw a Boy Scout. Okay. Maybe don't disrespect her. Sent home. With... Okay. Because it did say that Jonathan lost his arm. Now, are you guys going to be civil? And are you guys going to talk in a manner that I can actually read? Hiya, Carl. How did it feel? To be honest, I feel a little uncomfortable. You're right on that. Hey buddy, don't throw up on the floor. Stuart, we're gonna I'm gonna have to see you. Carl, that was only the beginning. You gotta learn to get used to it. Live with it. Got it. Stuart and Jen, I'm gonna need to throw hands with y'all. I don't care. And everyone here wants to teach you something, Carl. Live with it. Why are you such why are you like this? What did I do to you? You get no love from your mama, I bet. I bet. In any case, you're welcome to join us, Carl. The past hour has been torture. I don't know how the others managed to hold on. I messed up during training session. I jumped off a cliff, fell into the icy water, and choked hard. I'm getting deja vu right now. I don't know how to even recall this because I have no memory of ever visiting any cliffs or waterfalls, but it was all so real. I can even taste it in my mouth now, the foul taste of river water. But in any case, this is my first day at the foundation. I gotta go to the cafeteria and get something to eat. Maybe that'll make my stomach feel better. But like I said, I was getting heavy that deja vu reading that. Oh, did I get shanked? I did. Like, why'd he do that, though? He had to have had a grudge on you. Like, he'd been wanting to do this for a while. Oh, you too? Yeah. Now step on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 